But unfortunately, this cool down that we started today is only the beginning. It's only going to get colder for, from here. In fact, by Monday morning, we have the potential for it to feel like five, six, eight degrees at times for that Monday morning commute. But it does stay dry until the middle of the work week, so that's the one piece of good news. We're not going to have to deal with any ice. Right now, 49 degrees in Central Park. It's 45 in Newburgh and Bridgeport, 44 in Islip, so temperature is pretty consistent in those mid to upper 40s. Tonight, it will get cold, but just seasonably so under mostly clear skies. But we do have a cold front on the way. It's not going to bring us any rain or snow, but it is going to bring us those strong gusty winds. This is what's called a backdoor cold front, by the way. Most cold fronts come at us from the west. This one coming toward us from the north. That's why it's called backdoor. It's the kind of opposite direction of what we normally expect. And those tend to deliver dry air, but also big drops in temperature. That's what we're going to experience. So on Monday, it's cold sunshine throughout the day and a little bit of a reprieve on Tuesday. As far as temperatures are concerned, we could see a sprinkle or shower, though it does look like this system that's approaching will mostly miss us to the south. So tomorrow, this is what you can expect temperature wise, peaking right around 50 degrees at two o'clock in the afternoon, mostly sunny skies. But again, those gusty winds, you're really going to start to feel it around lunchtime. And that's why a wind advisory is in effect from noon to midnight tomorrow. Gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour are possible throughout the area. I wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service office in Mount Holly, that's down near Philadelphia, adds some more of these counties in western New Jersey to the wind advisory. So keep an eye out for that on our 10 o'clock newscast. Because of the fi uh, because of the gusty wind, sorry, we have the danger of fire weather tomorrow as well. That low humidity that I mentioned with that Canadian air, plus the strong gusty winds. And we also have a situation called dry fuels at the surface. What do I mean by that? Well, we have all the leaves from last autumn still sitting there on the ground, especially in areas where there's forest, and they are dried out right now. Lots of strong sunshine along with the gusty winds allows any little sparks to quickly become fires. And that's why we encourage people if you do smoke, don't flick the cigarette out the window. Do not park your car over dry grass just in case you don't want to start a fire. Now the winds that will deliver that chill. OK, so we're starting with Saturday and things are still looking OK. Sunday morning again, wind chills right around freezing. That's not terrible, but ooh, this is going to be such a shock to the system on Monday morning. It's going to feel like nine in Midtown on Monday morning, six in Newburgh, Islip and Shirley feeling like three degrees on Monday morning. Of course, though, since it's mid-March, it doesn't last long. We will start to feel that improvement temperature wise in just a couple days and then spring officially arrives one week from today. Can't wait for that. Here's a seven day forecast that gives you a preview of spring temperatures starting to rebound. Once we get into Wednesday, we're back to 50 degrees, but Kaidi, unfortunately, no more 70s in this forecast like we had on Thursday.